just going through my Amazon warehouse over here. I have been heavily influenced to become a sophisticated lady. So that's what today is all about. I'm gonna be doing some sophisticated lady organization. I'm on my way, I feel like, to becoming, let's say it together, a sophisticated lady. So I'm gonna go around my house today and order- Ah, oh, crap. My camera already died. This is not sophisticated lady behavior. So I've ordered some really cool stuff. I was influenced by some women across the room online. All good things. So I'm excited to get some organizing done around the house today. I have a lot of nooks and crannies that I'm looking to organize, but I think I know exactly where I'm going to begin. Right here in my office. This is unsophisticated lady behavior. I have figured out that I can't water it because the basket has holes in it and the water goes everywhere. Ask me how I know. This plant is doing just fine though. Check on us in a couple of months. So in its place, I want a diffuser in here because it is my favorite thing. I love these diffuser oils. They smell so amazing. And I tried to look around for the perfect diffuser. Actually, I tried to find one at the thrift store because honestly, I'm not that picky. But the only ones that the thrift store had were hideous or really, really small. And so, of course, I went to Amazon. Oh my gosh, this one comes with a little cup to pour in the water. Now that is sophisticated lady behavior. And a cleaning brush? Hold on a second. Now, what are we gonna do with this? Because I have never, ever cleaned my diffuser. <laughs> is that a problem? Oh, I have to plug it in. Is there a plug? All good things. So anyway, I found my diffuser in my living room that I love. It's not the most beautiful thing, but I do like it. I found that at Target on clearance for like $6. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to strike gold twice. So I did end up finding this one on Amazon, which I thought the wood was darker. Do I like this color? How do I feel about it? Hmm. You know when essential oils were starting to become popular like, I don't know, 10 plus years ago, 13 years ago, somewhere around there? For me anyway, in my realm of motherhood. Maybe it was just when I started to become a mom, that's when everyone was gawking at me like, oh, remember me from high school? I sell oils now. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna make me calm and peaceful, sign me up. Spoiler alert, it doesn't, but they do smell nice. <laughs> Ooh. Beeping. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful lady. That's pretty, right? Okay, I'm gonna throw some water in <laughs> with my measuring cup. I feel like my other one is bigger. No, you can put two of these in. It has a max line and this didn't even touch it. The line. Now, I always do warm water. I find that it diffuses much better, so it's like one and a half. When it diffuses and the water is warm, it's a much nicer mist. Oh, I like this one. It's kind of manly, but I, it's haunted by Magic Candle Company. And yesterday I went to Wentworth's classroom and she, the teacher was diffusing something and I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing and magical. And then I looked it up on Amazon and it was like $54. I said, that's cool for her. I'm not at that level of sophistication. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. So cheers, hydrate. Take a sip of water every time I say sophisticated lady. Sophisticated lady. We're gonna be hydrated in no time. All right, let's see this bad boy in action. I think it's really beautiful. I like how it looks on my mantle. I've never had a mantle before, so this is step one to becoming a Sophisticated lady. All right, I'm gonna stop saying that. <laughs> but in all honesty, I'm just trying to elevate my life a little bit, okay? Oh, it's so pretty. Does it change colors or is this all we get? <laughs> I'm so spoiled by everything nowadays, you know? Let's get a full view of the mantle. Oh my gosh, it changes colors on its own. Okay, how do I stop that? Because the red is not a vibe. Maybe it has buttons on the bottom. I don't know, did it come with a remote? I don't know, but I really love what I'm, I'm diffusing Haunted, and it's more of a masculine scent, which I find that I'm typically more into, and the antique shop that I frequent, they have a candle, I think the brand is Tipsy, and it's called Manhattan. Every time I go in that shop, I'm like, oh my gosh, this smells like 
my grandmother's, but in the best way possible. But the candle is $25, and I just don't think I'm ever gonna light it. If they sold an oil, I feel like I'd be all over it. Well, I don't know how to change the color. Oh, button pressed. It says if you press it five times, the lights go off. Well, yeah, that's what happened, but how do I? I guess the colors are always rotating. I'll live with it. So I'm trying to look for the remote for my wall sconces. And I recently broke my Lily Pulitzer mug and it was a really sad day, honestly. But now I can't find the remote to it. This is my garage door remote. Oh boy, sophisticated ladies don't live like this. Well, anyway, here she is. I am happy to have that in my life. I've been waiting for just a beautiful diffuser like this, so I couldn't be more pleased. It's such a great addition to my mantle. I don't know why I've been dragging my feet buying something like this. I love it 1000%. You'll see why more in later in the video. I guess I could spoil it for you. Okay, spoiler alert. It's incredible. It lasts for, I don't know, 15 hours, maybe more than that. I, my old one, maybe four hours last, but this one, I woke up this morning and it was still going and I was like, oh my gosh, the scent is going strong. Amazing. I feel like I'm getting so much more money out of the oils because it's diffusing for four or five times as long as my old diffuser. So hands down worth the money. I love it. And I think it looks gorgeous too. I was actually also looking for a wall shelf to hold my essential oils because I have one, but there's gaping spaces. Like I feel like I could add two more shelves to that, but I'm not very crafty. So I've been keeping an eye out for a shelf that would facilitate the essential oils. I haven't found anything that I like. So if you have something that you like, feel free to share. I think this is gonna be the next thing that I do. These are really cool. I randomly saw this on Instagram and I fell in love and people have been telling me to do something like this for a while. So I'm excited to implement it. So let me show you what it's all about. So this is pretty nifty, like the United States. Got some gadgets and doodads. And I grabbed these water bottles off of Amazon. They sell them at Target. I bought them at DJ Kelly. Target. So I just grabbed a couple of different colored options. These came in a two pack. I think they also come single too, but you get a better deal in a two pack. They come in plain colors and then also prints. So I thought these might be fun for the kiddos too. These are just for my smaller kids. And what I like about these, we've had them before, but slowly but surely over the years, I've lost pieces to them as they get clean. They don't put, get put away properly, yada, yada things get lost or damaged or broken, what have you. So these are spill proof, even though there's a straw. Love it, it's so cool. I got these because it seemed like it'd be the perfect size to fit in this little cup holder, so snug. <laughs> the best part about this is it goes to your fridge. These come in a two pack as well. And since I have so many dang kids, I got two two packs. Really, I just need three for the younger kids. The older kids don't have this problem. And I'm hoping, my fridge is so dirty, I should have cleaned it. This is unsophisticated lady behavior, which is basically my life. So this is supposed to solve the problem of my kids getting a new cup every time they're needing a drink. It won't solve the problem of whenever they have friends over getting a new cup every time they need a drink, but that's a problem for another day. Because I don't know about you, especially during the summertime, I'm constantly washing. I'm not being dramatic 20 cups a day, if not more. These are clearly unwashed, but I'm just giving you a little visual here. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I was a little skeptical at how good these magnets would be. I just thought, oh, my kids would like rip these off or whatever, you know, but these are really, they're actually really strong magnets. So I would give these the stamp of approval here. And even if this has a lot of liquid in it, like no joke, man, these magnets are really strong. These magnets are super strong, durable, fantastic. So even if that cup is filled to the brim, it will hold the weight of the fluid in there. So I think this is gonna be great. I'm going to see if my kids actually use it, maybe. They will take the cup and try to dump it all over the floor because that's another problem we're having. My toddler will grab a cup, fill it up, and then dump it all over the floor. I'm like, oh, that's a fun game. So maybe this will deter that from happening as well. Snaps all around, this is awesome. Because the legend goes, women who have their lives together aren't washing 20 cups a day. <laughs> 
Since we're in the kitchen, I will tell you about this little gizmo and gadget that I found on the internet as well. It's going all over Instagram if you've seen it. I don't know, all over. I spend too much scrolling in the middle of the night. Like this morning when I was up at 4 a.m. Oh, Kim, my baby started sleeping through the night at two months old. <laughs> That's cool. Mine's a year and a half and still wakes up all of the time. But it's also okay because I find cool gadgets like this. This little doohickey. Actually, great quality and it's glass. Love that. It even is labeled oil because oil is my blood. Dane Cook, anyone? All right, let me wash this and then I'll show you how it works. Essentially, it is a replacement for like spray pan or spray oil, spray butter, whatever. I get the avocado oil, but this stuff is expensive. At Costco, I wanna say it's like $15 for two. I mean, they're big and they're nice and the spray is the aerosol part of that. I mean, come on. We're gonna see how this little thing holds up. Over time, obviously this one will save you a lot of money. I buy oil in bulk, again, from Costco. So the idea behind this is that you can throw in whatever oil you enjoy, and obviously Pam has like seed oils and you know, the conspiracies behind that. So you might be wanting a better option, olive oil. Pros and cons, I don't know, but here we go. Check out the power of this beauty. Oh, is this a clear thing we can peel off? Or is it just blue? I feel like that's a film. <gasps> it is. Yes, sophisticated ladies are all about living that sad beige life. <laughs> no color included. Here we go, the grand reveal. Are you ready? Anticlimactic. Maybe it needs some pre-pumps. Oh, oh, okay, okay, can you, ca are you catching? I'm making bread, don't judge me. But my counters are all filthy. I should be able to put this in the oven soon. But I'm busy showing you guys some spray oils. I actually really like this container. It's comfortable in my hand, here we go. Oh, it's got a nice spray on there. The real testament to this would be the longevity. Like how long will this last? And will it actually save me money? You know, because if it only lasts, a few months, well, so does that, you know? So I thought that was a nice alternative. Maybe you'll want one. Hey, welcome to my linen closet. It actually doesn't look too bad what you're looking at right now. But allow me to direct your eyes north. To all of the skeletons in my closet, first of all, why do we own that many blankets? We live in Florida. This is outrageous. That's the tag from the oil. You may look at this and say, that's unnecessary. That's unsophisticated lady behavior. And I would agree with you. But hear me out. I have a large family. They love blankets. They have friends over all the time. There are some times where there are no blankets in here. Especially summertime when they have a lot of slumber parties. They make to like. They make to like. Did I get three hours of sleep last night? Forts. They make to like forts. And you know, sometimes you just need a blanket. So, life with Lainey, you guys know, she is turning me into a lady who organizes all of the things around her house. And wouldn't you know it, she only posted this, I don't know, a few days ago, a week ago, about her linen closet organization. I was like, she knows exactly what I need. She is the woman across the room from me. Oh my gosh, if I could be Lainey. I also love that name. Is this zipper broken? Oh, that's Cool. All right, I fixed it. She's all that, anyone? Freddie Prince Jr., come on. Lainey Boggs, I could quote that movie start to finish, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I found these bags off of Amazon and I'm gonna stuff them full of all the blankets because here's what happens. I do laundry and I try to shove all the blankets up here and it's just one big avalanche waiting to happen. I can't live like this anymore. So instead, you know what? I may be needing more than three of these beds. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to fold them all in. Oh, great, I've been looking for these. This is too many blankets. While I'm down here, I am going to declutter some of this because, well, like, okay, why do some things have such a hold on us? sentimentally. This was Avelina's baby blanket, one of them, you know? And it's like, do I just toss it and get rid of it? She doesn't care. It's not like this one is, you know, super special. It's cute. It's kind of cute. Do I love it? I don't know. Would I feel bad getting rid of it? Maybe. It's just a Target blanket. It's the feelings, you know? Lainey makes everything look so easy. Everything looks easy on a one minute reel, but I'm gonna sit here. Oh my gosh, am I really doing this? Yeah, I'm gonna need a larger bag. 
So about the larger bag, I feel like, listen, we used to have a bag like this and I finally donated it, I think in the move. They were blankets that we never reached for and never used. So if the same thing happens with these simply because they're in a bag, well, then that means we can live without them, right? But in the same token, I do feel like they're more organized in these bags. So I don't know if a larger one would be necessary or more effective because then it would just be like too bulky to move around or maneuver, get down if we needed a blanket out of it, et cetera, et cetera. I will say I have added more to my Amazon cart. I haven't jumped the gun on actually purchasing them yet, but I think they would be really beneficial in multiple areas of our house where we just have like linens. And have you seen total sophisticated lady organization. Okay. I am definitely not at this level yet, mostly because I don't have extra sheets for our beds. I told you guys I'm a minimalist. Okay. It's just one example. <laughs> so I know a lot of people have multiple sheets for their beds. When they change the sheets out, they put it, the fresh, you know, new sheets on while the others are washing. That's not us. If we don't get it washed in the day, we go to bed with no sheets on the bed. <laughs> like maybe put a blanket down or something. So I've seen these where it's like a box kind of, but it holds each sheet set and then it has a label on it what size it is. So I think that's pretty cool, but I'm not there Very yet. cool. I was able to shove almost all of the blankets in here, which is awesome. So I love how it has a clear top in front. So if you want to see what's inside the bag, but then if you're like me and you don't like the silent noise pollution, you can store them like this where you don't have to look at what's inside. So that's pretty cool. I only had two blankets that didn't really fit in there. I'm getting rid of another one. And then I have some tablecloths that go elsewhere, a towel, and that's a sheet set. And honestly, like for what? So if you're into that, putting a blanket into a bag, a bunch of blankets that we probably shouldn't have anyway, but now at least they look nicer and it feels nicer. Now that there, it's not like an avalanche every time I open the linen door, you know? Now that I did that, I kind of wanna get more bags for all the other crap around my house. I've got a ton of linens, like tablecloths for when we have like big parties and stuff. And right now they're just like at the top of my laundry room cabinet. So it would be nice to have a better spot for them. And also the essential oils are wafting through the entire house. I think, yep, I think I love it. I think I love you, now what am I so afraid of? I have this, we can put together upstairs. Not really looking forward to putting anything together right now. I have some water bottle organization, some stuff for the grocery store, which I'm pumped about, an outdoor item, and something for my pantry. How does a sophisticated lady make a decision like this? So it's all about finding solutions for spots in my house that don't make any sense. I recently converted this, used to be my junk drawer, into my hydration station, and I have been literally loving it. It's giving sophisticated lady. It's giving woman across the room. It's giving, I hate this product, I don't know why I continue to keep it. <laughs> but under here is a different story. So it's all kinds of chaos. Obviously my GFG, I think that's a good home for it. I've got an ice cream maker I've never used, but I'm focusing on the bottom here, the bottom level where I thought at one point in time, I had organized this. Um, this is left over from when we had this as a junk drawer and it was so full that papers would just fall under here. And wouldn't you know it, the woman across the room herself, Ina Garden, this is her brownie pudding. <sighs> 20 out of 10 would recommend. Store jars under here, just I need to find a solution for this. I have all kinds of water bottles that I love. I have found that I really only rotate through, I don't know, a handful of them. But I did get these containers a year ago, maybe more than that, but it's really just hiding the mess. It's not making them easily accessible, so I have come up with a solution. I also found the straws <laughs> that I love because I use the bigger water bottles and the stainless steel straws that I have don't reach the bottom and it's kind of just become an annoyance to me so I finally bought some reusable straws and I thought I had something to organize this with but I'm gonna have to double check my Amazon orders. The coolest thing I found was this. Did I just break it? Oh wow, this is pretty flimsy, not gonna lie. It looks unassuming and it pretty much is. It's just a little, it's so hard to see. There we go, a little organizer. 
And you know what this is supposed to do? Ha! Let me show you. Hold all of the lids. So you just put it over the spot where the mouth spout is and it just is a great spot to hold the lids like this. I like it because most of my lids are just floating around in here and whenever I need one, can never find it. Can never find one that fits. And then I guess the sad thing about this is that if you don't have all the same water bottle, because I know some people have like 17 Stanleys and I'm just like, wow, you can buy a car. But if I was needing this size, I would have to take them all off. So trading one annoyance for another, I don't know, but I have that. And then I also got, I'm rolling my eyes because I'm pretty sure I need to assemble this. It is a water bottle organizer. I'm sure you've seen them all around town. I actually have one. I've had one for several years and I really like it. I use it for the kids' water bottles. It's up where the cups go. But the one that I have is just a plain shelf. I wanna say it was more affordable than this one. But this one has divots, so you can only fit three, but obviously it's stackable. I don't know if it stacks two high, three high. We're about to find out. It also came unassembled, which I feel like is very unsophisticated. You know, I would pay $5 more to have it come assembled. Oh, does it go four high? I didn't measure this. Listen, I also didn't measure my water bottles. I'll say that some of them are bigger than the others. And I recently found at TJ Maxx, I want to say, a water bottle. It's 40 ounces, but it has the straw that like kind of folds down, you know what I mean? So that way I can just toss it in my car, no big deal. And that's um, that my favorite. Overall, that's my favorite. Why don't more water bottles do this? I think the Obola one that I have, they might have a 40 ounce. I'm going to have to look now. But... Um, they, they're on the pricier side too. Obviously the one that I found on clearance was like $8, a 40 ounce water bottle with the straw that closes. It's my dream. And when I'm working out and stuff, I'm always worried if I bring my water bottle with the straw hanging out, I'm like, Oh, if it tips over, if I accidentally knock it over, there's going to be water everywhere. It's going to make a big old mess. So that's my ideal um, rather than having a water bottle with a straw, but sometimes when they're that large and they have the foldable straw, they don't fit in a, you know, nice container like this. And if you saw the floor to this can cabinet, I don't know what the previous owners stored in here. Maybe it was something that was frequently used. Maybe it was super heavy. Maybe they put it away damp, but it warped the floor uh, of this cabinet. So it's not even, <laughs> And, um, yeah, that kind of put a damper in things. I couldn't fit the, uh, two of them side by side, which uh, it was like, I don't know, a millimeter off. I, um, I tried to shove it in there, but it just didn't work out. I think this works out just fine. Is this amount of water bottles necessary? I don't know. I would argue yes. <laughs> a lot of them were gifted, so I don't want to get rid of them either. So I'm going through trying to find the straw organizer that I found. I don't know. I thought it was like something that hung on the bottom of a cabinet or something. I may be thinking of the paper plate holder that I've been seeing. Have you seen it? The paper plate holder? Like, like hangs on the cabinet? I didn't get it because I was like, ah, I don't know, it's a little ridiculous. Sophisticated ladies don't use paper plates. <laughs> oh, wow. These are different than I was thinking, but I'm just going to grab a container and throw this straws in here and I feel like that is a great solution right there. Two bucks. I need to wash those but it's fine. You can get the gist. Also a lot of my water bottles are either in the car or needing to be washed so you can use your imagination of what it's going to look like when it's completely full. But I love these Avala water bottles. They close all the way so your water isn't going to spill out. We bring these to theme parks. We bring these to the zoo like whenever we're going outdoor places because you know Water bottles get flung all around in the stroller. The, the amount of water bottles we're bringing, they're not, like I don't have the amount of cup holders to facilitate. And then you can either gulp it, it has a big gulp, or it has a straw. Love it, it's fantastic. I have this in like a ton of different colors. I have the kid sizes for my kids up there. Those come in fun colors too. So that's what I'm gonna fill the rest of the spots with, essentially. I did get rid of a couple water bottles, but not that many. And this just looks a lot nicer than what it did before, obviously. It was a whole mess. And things always look good right when you clean them, right? 
By the way, this is the water bottle container that I keep referring to right now. So it just has like the racks and I can really fit four in each row, but those are the kid size water bottles. Another one, bats dust. My camera broke, it dropped and I could cry. But this is the last clip I got with it and uh, I just wanna give you a heads up. This is before. I'm not even gonna lie. It has not been pretty in here. It has been 30 minutes. I will spare you the gory details of me fighting for my life to get this thing together. Oh, what am I putting together? Welcome to my pantry. Some can organization. You might think, wow, you got some pretty good stuff happening. I feel the same way as you. But every time I see something like this, I've been looking for a can organizer for a long time that fits in this specific spot. I have yet to measure this one. I guess I should have done that before I started. Okay, I did take the tape measure before I ordered it, so there's that should be like half an inch space between it. And honestly, I've been dragging my feet to get an organizer like this because I'm so sorry, my camera broke. I don't know where to look. I'm filming on my phone. It has been 30 whole minutes, but I'm gonna keep going because that's what sophisticated ladies do. Can storage, I've been dragging my feet because I feel like I can fit more this way, but Am I rotating them properly? Am I able to see everything that I have in this collection? And the answer to those questions is no. So I bought this one, I saw, of course, and I was like, you know what, that one might be really good. I bought two of these. I can't for the life of me say why. Actually, I think this is two, and then I got two more. I don't know how much room I thought I had in here. The good thing about this one is that you can customize it and first of all, they roll. I don't know if you can see that one. You see how it came to the bottom? <laughs> I would turn it completely, but can you see it this way better? Oh, I'm a whole mess in here. You can customize the size, so you can make it whatever size can that you have or need. I'm just doing the generic size right now because that's all the mental capacity I am able to accomplish at this moment in time. But now that I feel like I have the hang of this, oh, it has not been pretty in here, okay? I'm going to finish it up. It just snaps together. I don't know why I was complicating it. I should have probably looked up a YouTube video, but also I'm super sleep deprived, so I think I was just making it way more complicated than it needed to be. Like this right now. I don't, what is happening? Like just fit the can in, make sure it rolls and snap it into place. That's all it takes. I don't know why it's been an hour. So I'm gonna take all these cans off and I'm gonna see if this looks better, feels better, smells better. Let's do it. I feel like an Oompa Loompa in these pants. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't seen the new Wonka movie, <laughs> it's like a family favorite over here. It's fantastic. Also Hugh Grant, I feel like made the movie. It was wonderful. Anyway, I'm finding that a <laughs> little effort that I've already done. I think it was an accumulation. Listen, this day was not my day. And I kind of feel bad that I filmed this video on this day where I was just in a mood because I don't know. I feel like I was in a mood. I will tell you a series of unfortunate events happened this day. They weren't, everything was minor, but it's like if they all happen on the same day, I just throw my hands up. I'm like, I surrender. I can't even anymore. You guys, I got cut my whole hand with a serrated cut cone knife. Uh, one of my kids was going for it. And so I said, no. And I reached for it without even thinking. And the child said, yes, and pulled it straight in my hand. And oh my gosh, blood everywhere. It doesn't fit. I think I'm about to lose my mind. Just for fun, let's put a can in and see how it goes. It still kind of works. So should I continue? Let me show you the problem. It looks fine, but it's slightly just like a fingertip length here. Just a fingertip length. <laughs> just right there. It just goes right over the edge. Oh my gosh, I didn't measure the depth. I'm an idiot. I'm just gonna keep on going. And if I hate it, if it presents a problem, then I can just empty it out and go from there, but I've gone this far, so I'm just going to load it up. There should be one more piece. No, I feel like there should be one more piece. I have two more racks. I feel like there should be one more piece. Okay, um, uh, I'm about to just lose my mind. I opened up my second box. I'm just gonna 
flip this in. So that was just one thing. The knife cut, the whole hand cut, the, you know, thing that I couldn't figure out how to get together. I spent an hour trying to finagle this thing. And then, like, the cans when I fin- All just minor inconveniences. But when you compound them together, it just turns into a day. And that's what I was having. So... You know, I'm so glad that I was able to get some of this stuff done. I feel like I kind of left it 90%. Like I still need to kind of work on the cans in here and put a couple of more to facilitate the canned uh, chicken that I have. But all in all, this turned out, it far exceeded my expectations. Let's say that. I am very happy with the way that this not only looks, but also performs and the amount that it's able to hold. So all three cylinders banging on them. I have some thoughts. I am gonna finish filling it up to the best of my ability, but something like salsa will not fit in here. And this is something that I try to keep. So obviously like the evaporated milk and stuff over there, I'll move to here. It does look nice, but it kind of pigeonholes you into buying like the same type of thing, unless you're willing to like sift through when you're trying to look for a dip. Like if you just had all of these just beans, but different kind of beans, but if you needed a certain kind and you'd have to pull them out, you know? I always like to buy a ton of the same thing anyway, but that's just what I'm thinking. Like I don't, like now I can see, oh, I need more of X, Y, Z, but do I really need more? Or do I need more in case of the world ending? You know, because really I've got six cans of enchilada sauce, so I don't need more, but I always use it. So to fill this thing up, I'd need like five more. Just food for thought. All right, I'm gonna finish filling this up. I got some cans of chicken over there. Maybe I can adjust this. I don't know if I'm cut out for this life, you know? So I would say it fits pretty close to the same amount of what I had up there. So you can see there's a ton more room. I do have some jars down here. Obviously they won't fit. They're like salsa jars. And then these are smaller. They're vegetables. I don't really do canned vegetables. I just have those. I don't really know why. So final thoughts. I love how it looks. It, I mean, obviously it looks way more organized. I just don't know how I feel about, you know, the same thing. But if you shop at Costco, it's totally doable. I just have mixed feelings. I do like it. Maybe I'm just being sour because it took me a really long time to put it together. <laughs> I would have paid 10 extra dollars for it to come already assembled. <laughs> I would have paid up maybe 20 extra dollars. I'm really not looking forward to putting this together. You know, my learning style is not kinesthetic. I am not like a mechanical engineer. That's not my thing. Okay, I can cook with my hands and eat with my hands, but putting stuff together, puzzles, pass, you know? Alex is almost home, so I'm going to elicit his help. The kids are almost home. I know once I put this together, this is an organizer for all the outdoor toys and, I don't know, balls and all the things that end up around our yard. So this will just be easy. It's on wheels. We can wheel it out of our garage. When we're done, we can wheel it back in rather than like going back in. Oh, get this, get that, get that. So I think this is actually going to be really fantastic once I put it together. <laughs> so this is fun. And you know what? It was fun because, you know, when, when I'm in a mood, you guys know I like to throw on some music to just it just changes everything it changes the mood I mean obviously depending on what music you put on in this instance I put on <laughs> only the best Zac Efron bet on me one of the best I mean I don't know how he didn't win a Grammy honestly he was Zac Efron was snubbed everybody and then what came on after this was the Hey Batter Batter, it's obviously, it's High School Musical 2 soundtrack, Hey Batter Batter Hey, I actually don't know what the title of that song is, also a great one, I mean, laughed about it from day one, he's like, I don't dance, as he's dancing and singing, I don't sing, not my thing, <laughs> it's just like, dude, you are doing it, hilarious, he also kind of reminds me of Michael Jackson, so, I mean, it's just an all-around great movie, if you're looking for a family movie night, look no further than High School Musical 1 slash 2 slash maybe the third. I don't know. I feel like we haven't seen that as a family. The second one's always the best. This, Grease, whatever. I'm talking about Grease 2 is the, I, I would argue, superior than the first. And um, don't come for me, John Travolta, but nothing stands in the way of Cool Rider. Cool Rider. I mean, come on. Michelle Pfeiffer in that movie <laughs> peaked. 
she peaked and that movie is it's so fantastic it's one of my all-time favorites but i alas i am putting this thing together and uh, if you're not into high school musical two soundtrack maybe wicked is your thing or throw on some music that you actually enjoy i told you guys i was having a day and a half so wolfgang was helping me put it together he's actually very good at uh assembling things which i'm thankful for because i am not okay I told you before, I would pay extra to have it come pre-assembled. I would probably pay a hundred extra dollars if this came pre-assembled. I'm kind of joking, but kind of not. I don't think I would have bought it if it was <laughs> at that price point. And I will mention that this comes in two different options. We, believe it or not, got the smaller option. It also comes in a larger option and it has more tiers on top. So it comes with like another rack, another basket, another level if you will and I thought you know what this one is probably good for our size family so great for if you can see Eleanor doing her acrobatics back there okay she's a performer and she's just practicing her dance but this thing was so fantastic it comes with all kinds of like hooks that hang off the side that you can put all kinds of thing on things on it has a basket and then not only can you throw the balls in the bottom where those baskets are there's also like two poles up top perfect for putting balls up there which I would have never thought if I didn't one see the picture and two Alex threw some balls up there and I was like oh my gosh he is a basketball pro because I don't know about that kind of stuff you know I don't live that kind of athletic lifestyle and so it actually holds a lot. I'm thinking chalk. I'm thinking, you know, the kids' pads for all their uh, bike equipment. And this moment, so happy about it, kind of reminded me of Sweet Toot from the movie uh, Chitty Chitty Bang. Oh my gosh, so Toot Sweet, excuse me. I should be banned from the theater. Toot so Oh my gosh, it's such a jam. Toot Sweet, come on. Toot Sweet, Toot Sweet, the toot of a flute with the flavor of fruit. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. No longer need candy be mute. Amazing. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is such a great movie. Another great family movie night if you're looking for one. It even has an intermission. That's how long the movie is, okay? Um, and it's really old. It's got a great soundtrack. <laughs> Highly recommend. Uh, sweet toot. <laughs> but here is the rack all put together. By the way, I saw the Toot Sweet machine in real life. It's in like a Ripley's Believe It or Not in London. Oh, one of the highlights of my life, I'll tell you what. Here it is, the basketball bats in there and stuff, softball, whatever it is. I don't really know, sports and stuff. Um, all the balls and helmets, and this obviously isn't all of them, but room for growth. I didn't really know what was most important to put on here, but again, chalk would be another great addition. But here it is, all assembled, and I think it looks fantastic fully functional it's going to really hopefully fingers crossed encourage you know keeping the place tidy and organized and all of that good stuff and it is really accessible because of the wheels on the bottom so all around great things and uh, I don't know check on me in a couple months if this thing is actually living up to the hype okay here I am hey bada bada hey bada bada swing One more items here really for the grocery store but I also think like this would work really well on a stroller too. It's a bracket phone holder. I'm really excited about this because because when I go grocery shopping, normally sometimes I have a list on my phone and I keep having to like open it up and scroll and find it again. So to be able to have it accessible the entire time will be fantastic. And then I grabbed a couple of these for the back seat to hang grocery bags. I don't know if this is gonna work out, but it will basically double the space that I have if it does work out and I can get a couple more of these and you can hang them on the headrest. So I'm gonna give this a try. It fits nice and snug around the handle, which is the same size as a shopping cart, which is awesome. And it can swivel if you need it horizontal or vertical. I plopped on Eleanor's phone since mm, I'm filming with mine because my camera broke and look at that. Nice and snug like a bug in a rug gonna pretend to go stro strolling around overall i'm really excited about this one this is also great to have instead of like leaving it in your pocket when i'm it's really exciting it would also be great for like when you're at the theme park or the park or anywhere so sometimes i don't have pockets in my clothes or leggings or anything and i have to put this in my bag and it's not easily accessible so if someone's calling me i don't know so it's nice to have it nice and handy and in my face you know what i mean i won't miss a thing 
Aerosmith style. Really easy to install. I just lifted the headrest up and uh, seems pretty sturdy. Nothing gets me more excited to go grocery shopping than a new little gadget here. And this cooler holds about 75 pounds of food. So the next time I'm out and about, you know what? I can get four more clips on here. I have basically doubled my trunk space. Isn't that cool? Even if you're not using it for groceries, even if you're like traveling or something, like hats galore, anything, the world is your oyster. That's pretty cool. You people, it is the next morning. I woke up and I thought, oh my gosh, that smell really lingered. Um, no, it is my diffuser literally still going. There is still some mist in there. I am befumbled, okay? I can't turn the light on. I cannot believe this madness. It has been how many hours? What? Crazy. I don't love that it's multicolor and I can't stop that, but I do love the fact that it goes for like 24 hours straight. That's amazing.